All right. All right, guys. We are here with uh, the, the weekly update or this week in Star Citizen. Uh, before we start, there is a video going up after this that will be dealing with the CCU chain, how to buy ships at a cheaper price. Um, for example, a Galaxy for about 300 bucks instead of the uh, the usual 400 and, and also things like the Hammerhead and all those sort of ships. The bigger the ship, the more you save um, and using the CCU chains. So that will be going up after this video. But this week, uh, this video is this week in Star Citizen. So obviously guys, uh, attention spaceship enthusiasts, the final days of the IAE have just begun. That means every ship, and we mean every ship, why is every ship here? That you was able to test for flight during the previous days of the IAE, once again, are available. The expo will continue until November 30th, so invite your crew and take full advantage of the free fly. Speaking of spaceships, we are sure to check out the Pisces QA, uh, which provides additional information on the Anvil entry the medical ship, and those who want to know about the galaxy should head over to the questions gathering thread for the upcoming Q&A. Um, let, let me guess, the main question is, what happens if you don't have a module? Now, we challenged you to prove, uh, to prove uh, your photography skills in a daily screenshot contest, and you have certainly delivered. We announced the most recent lineup, so take a look and enjoy. So this week, we do have the narrative team brings us the monthly Gracopedia update, on Wednesday, we'll release a 318 patch watch post on Spectrum, highlighting some of the improvements and fixes in our upcoming patch. So that's cool. Thursday, Inside Star Citizen, we'll be looking at the dual worlds of the asset validation via the tool team's efforts to maintain build health and the Polaris concept model internal loadout rework with the UK vehicle team. So it's interesting, they say the Polaris concept model, internal loadout, layout, rework. Yeah, you didn't know they're reworking the Polaris. Yeah, so that means it was done originally and just not put in game? Um, or started, from I, maybe. From what I understand was they had it mostly done but then that was with the uh, like the like old ship of measuring um units and when they converted it in with the uh, new measuring units they found out that a lot of things on there just just didn't fit so you're talking about so the they, ship matrix yeah the ship of matrix um yep. sorry it's going like 4.15 in the uh, morning so our words don't work well so yeah that, um, that's alright I, yeah, I, last time I tried to do a, a video recording at 4am in the morning I said size 4 was capital so you know you get a break yeah so they were going through and they were um, trying to, to well, fit things in and they, they found out that the ships are current to size doesn't work with the internal layout and that's also the reason why the Polaris got a bit bigger is because yeah. things just didn't fit so I was going to say so it sounds like the ship's gotten bigger um, yes it has gotten bigger um, yeah. officially we don't don't know but unofficially I heard it's about uh, a third of larger than the galaxy. Okay. Well, I, I presume we'll find out on Thursday. And on Friday, you receive Hopefully. another update to the subscriber vault, and uh, this week, RSI letter, delivering you straight to the inbox. Star Citizen Live follows up with members of the Montreal Sandbox 1 team to discuss their work on Alpha 318 and more. Stay tuned or tune in at 8 a.m. Pacific. So they've been a little bit cryptic about Montreal's Standbox 1. Um, I think those are the guys that do, if I if I had to take a stab in the dark, I would say they're the guys that do the things like the um, like the racetracks and, and the outposts and, and that sort of stuff. 
Um, uh, so they do a lot of the, the outposts, the colonization outposts and stuff like that. Uh, this Sunday will mark our final stop to the Bar Citizen World Tour 2022. This time, Chris and Sandy will be visiting a community organized event in Berlin. The venue has limited capacity and registration for the event is already reportedly fully booked. But we'll keep you in the mix with pictures via social media. Um, and that was done by Wayne at, uh, or Christian at um, CIG. I thought Christian left. Anyway. Um, all right. So um, at the end of the day, yeah, uh, it's um, that might be a new Christian because it says um, community manager. I think that's the new community manager. Actually. All right. Um, so at the end of the day, obviously, the big things is obviously uh, Wednesday with the, the patch watch, Thursday with Inside Star Citizen, and Friday is Star Citizen Live. Um, but yeah, obviously, I'm looking forward to hearing about the Polaris concept. But also, to be honest, they're also talking about the tool team's efforts to maintain build health. So, yeah. I'm not sure if that... I think that is patch health. I don't think that's buildings. Um, so that'd be like... Build? Build health would be like bug reports and stuff, I think. That sort of stuff. But One can hope. So... Yeah, it probably wouldn't be useful for a lot of people. Um, because basically, so like when the patch goes out, like when there's a new patch, um, it'll go through and they'll say like, you know, like there, this patch failed or this patch succeeded. And that's what they meant by build health. So I presume this is them going through, talking about um, the tool team's efforts to, to make sure that the patches come out and they don't fail, which is not a, yeah, it's all right. Um, but obviously the biggest thing is the, the Polaris concept. Uh, do you do you have a Polaris or is it? I do have one actually. Yeah, and John was thinking about. John is constantly deciding between the Perseus or the Polaris. Um, well, I have uh, both, so I don't have to. Uh, I decide. <laughs> don't tell John. Um, but guys, apart from that, obviously let us know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Like I say, video going up right after this, or about an hour after this, will be the, uh, yeah, about an hour after this, will be the, uh, the 30 minute video on CCU chaining and how to save money on buying ships. If you are interested in buying ships, I suggest you watch that tonight, um, or today, and, and don't leave it too late because some of the time if you you're trying to melt and and rebuy things back there is a 24-hour time limit so do keep that in mind apart from that guys if you have any questions any comments feel free to post them in the description below big thanks to everybody over the past couple of weeks you guys have been absolutely fantastic with the the comments and uh, and the viewing and everything like that i like just yeah the amount of love that we got from the community is is crazy um but guys have a great night. Enjoy yourselves, and we'll see you in the universe. You want to say bye, Fizz? Good morning, New York City. Hmm. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Enjoy. I think it was a good morning Vietnam, wasn't it? Well, I was going to say Vietnam, but I didn't want to I'll, like hit any up bad notes, so uh, New York City it was. So uh, it was always, good morning, Vietnam. I feel good. I anyway. could have done a... Detroit. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Enjoy.